What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is one which is a direct response to your guys' questions in the comments section of some of my recent videos. One of the most asked questions on the channel at the moment is how I'm driving traffic to my beat store. So what I thought I'd do in today's video is give you a complete transparent breakdown of exactly how I'm driving traffic to my beat store. Now the reason why I'm happy to divulge this information with you is because none of it is a secret source, secret formula, or something that maybe you don't know about. It's all pretty self-explanatory once I explain it to you and it's all stuff that you can do as well for your beat store so stick around in this video because not only is there multiple places that you can get drive traffic from but there's also some explanation on how some of them can benefit you in different ways to others as well so make sure again you stick around in the video for that as well and of course subscribe to the channel right now if you are new to the channel and not subscribed already because if you are someone who is aspiring beat maker or music producer i like to think the content on this channel can help you with that to refine your craft and become a better music producer on the business side of things so so with their mandatories out of the way, let's not waste any more time and let's get into the video. So the big reveal is this. We're ripping out the whiteboard today to try and help you guys. This is basically my traffic map for my JG Beats beat selling business. Now, as you can see here, there's a couple of different things we're gonna talk about and go into a little bit more detail on. So I'm just gonna start basically first by explaining what the end goal is in all of this. Now, the end goal for me is two different places. We have the pro page and the website. Now, you may be wondering why I've got two beat stores technically in website form. Now, there's a very good reason for this. So the first reason is I've got my pro page because I like to separate my traffic from my YouTube Typey channel for anything else. Because the YouTube Typey channel, when I first started, was the main traffic driver. And when I was trying out different things, I wanted to be able to actually monitor what's getting me sales. And so I thought the pro page, not only can you have better links to Beats as well than the website because the website by the way uses blaze players which i don't think has good usability as a pro page but it's still good so i wanted to take people if they listen to one of my individual beats on youtube to go to my pro page to initiate the purchase because it's just a lot more better usability than my website however my website is good for a lot of different traffic sources because i have been able to build this browser which i think is a lot better than the pro page which means that i have over 300 beats people who come to my beat store have a lot easier time finding beats they might actually be interested in and are looking for so that is the main differences between the pro page and the website with that in mind let's now go explaining all of them and let's start off firstly with what i just mentioned youtube type channel now this is a traffic driver to both my pro page and my beat stores technically but mainly my pro page because the whole idea of youtube type channel is someone is going to be listening or watching your beat on your beat channel then want to go purchase a license so click a link in the description and then go to your pro page now i also have my website in not only the linked uh comments just directly below but also i have the link to this beat store just as well just in case someone wanted to browse my whole beat store but mainly on youtube i'm focusing on just getting that direct beat sale so they're going to the pro page now the next one is soundcloud for those of you who may have heard that soundcloud is dead it's really not and in fact it's another really great way to drive traffic to your beat store for free you can also monetize your beats as well if you want to get a pro account so you can also earn a little bit extra money off of that as well but the main thing is soundcloud is very much like a youtube type of channel without the video format as is the next one audio mac which you may have not considered doing but especially after seeing dj Payne and his audio mac account that he's got he seems to do very well off it i would be interested if he knows how much he actually makes of audio mac separately but audio mac and soundcloud two of them are very good free traffic sources obviously once you get to a certain amount of beats soundcloud you gotta pay for it i'm not so sure about audio mac now the best bit of advice i can give you if you're someone who doesn't have these accounts yet one thing you can do is start uploading daily that's actually advantage to not having these accounts yet i really would advise you though not to be tempted to upload in batch because consistency is very key as i said you should type your channel and just your beat selling in general if you can just get into rhythm uploading once a day the algorithms of audio mac and soundcloud are more likely to favor and give that give a chance for that beat in the day that you publish it to get a little bit of a push and get some traction so with that all in mind do not neglect audio mac or soundcloud because they're two very good ways to drive traffic to free to your beat store now the next one is instagram so instagram again and tiktok they're ones that two go together really well now instagram is probably one of my main drivers to my actual website because of the short form content that I'm making, just being creative with it, I'm getting loads of clicks to my website every month and it seems to be increasing with the more content I upload. So again, Instagram, TikTok, this is more for the short form content as well as a little bit with your YouTube type of channel, to be fair. But with TikTok, there is a little bit of a disclaimer. You need to have 1,000 followers on your TikTok account to make it worth it to promote your beats on there because that's the only way you can have a link in your bio. Because if I've been honest, no one is going to go off TikTok to go to your website just by providing a link in the description, which is not clickable. You have to get that 1,000 followers 
followers to get that link. It's so important for TikTok. Make sure you do that. And Instagram, of course, you can have the link in your bio and you can also have a link in your stories now, which is very great. So Instagram, really good way to drive traffic to the Beat Store. Now, our next one that you may be surprised to see on this list of ways to drive traffic to your Beat Store, but that is the Beat Stars profile. Now, this really ties into these two sections right here. And this is the most important traffic driving uh, mechanism in the machine. Now, this is all about the whole capturing and feeding emails into the email marketing. Now, there's so many reasons why email marketing is not only the most important part of traffic, but also the most mandatory as well, is what I'm about to explain to you. So all of these that I've explained to you so far, this is driving traffic to your beat store, but there's no guarantee that they're going to come back. Yes, they follow you, so they may see you on your post again. But nowadays with algorithms, there's no guarantee that someone will see a post of yours again after clicking on it once. It's just how it is. But with email marketing, if we just take a look at this for a second and ignore the beat stars profile online every time you send someone to your email address or every time they get a beat for free which is from either the website or any, anywhere which they ended up here so you can drive them to the beat store with an email send an email to them and they can go to the they can go to your beat store buy a beat but then the magic thing about your marketing is you can then target them again that exact same person reach out to them personally and you can get once you've had one customer who's bought one beat or downloaded one beat for free, you can keep enticing them back to your store. Now, the most important thing about email marketing is you've always got to be adding sort of value to your emails. You've got to be providing an incentive for someone to go back to your beat store. Don't just send them an email saying, hey, come back to my beat store. Hey, I've got a new beat in my beat store. That's just not going to work. People don't want that. You've got to think if you're an artist, that would probably annoy you if you just got random things. What you want to do is always update your bulk deals. Also change your discounts. Always offer sales. And another trick, always raise your prices then offer higher discounts now that's a little trick there which you may think not work i bet you it's worth trying so with that all in mind we're going back to our beat stars profile online now why can this drive traffic to our actual beat store one thing i always advise is never ever use any of these to drive traffic to your beat stars online profile and if you don't have a pro page or a website i highly advise that it's something worth investing in because as i've explained in previous videos anyone who goes to the beat stars online profile you've not got no control over them going to see other producers or other beats on beat stars when you have them going to your pro page or website Website, they are stuck there and they're going to stay on the website um, well not sounding like we're kidnapping them we're not we're just saying that they should only look at your beats because you know you've enticed them to your website so but with the beatstars online profile anyone who's on there at the moment and it's a big search engine beatstars you can in fact get them to download beats for free the free beats for a capture email and then that will put them in the email marketing list so we're not getting them directly to the website by doing it but we're using beatstars to capture emails with the free beat and then we're feeding into the email marketing list to get them stuck in this loop here and this is probably the most important cycle when it comes to beat selling because this is what's really going to get you the loyal customers going even more so than i'd say subscribers to youtube type of channel now there is one more thing i haven't mentioned which uh, i didn't actually put on here and that is google search traffic now this is a tricky one because you have to be good and know what you're doing with seo so i, I would write it on there but that's just for the website as well pro page you can't really optimize a pro page so it's not really worth even considering doing that but if you've got a website it's always worth trying to update your website regularly and try and rank higher in search results for stuff like i don't know if you do hip-hop beats or j cole beats uh drake beats pop beats taylor swift e etc you know you get what i mean you can optimize that way but I haven't put it on there because that's quite a complex one and you shouldn't be worrying about that because you've got all these different free traffic sources to worry about in the short term. So yeah, guys, no tricks, no hidden formulas. It's just is what it is. These are the traffic sources to be driving traffic to your beat store. This is how you got to be doing it. And I hope in the outcome of you watching this video is you may be considering uploading your beat somewhere else on one of these, which I mentioned to drive more traffic to your beat store. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, smash the subscribe button as it's the best way to support the channel. Keep making music and I'll see you in the next video.